They're not saying what they will do, but don't expect inaction from affiliates of the Trade Union Congress. Today, members met to declare their disapproval that several industrial matters remain unresolved and to put the government on notice that they're growing impatient. Janea Noel Ferguson reports. This is the worst period for workers ever. And with that, the president of Congress of Trade Unions, Obi Ferguson, said that the Minister of Labor's failure to sign a strike certificate for the customs union, failure to recognize a union for sandals workers, and failure to address the concerns of air traffic controllers has these three unions up in arms. And if the minister does not bring some resolution... Trade unions would do what trade unions do best. Ferguson, who represents the three unions, says that although negotiations are ongoing, he hopes that they are able to reach an agreement soon. At last report, Ferguson said that Labor Minister Dion Folks did request a meeting with the Customs Union for January 10th, but this was not agreed by the participating parties, making it unconstitutional, and the union leaders are of the view that the government is not acting in good faith. His office knows what the issues are, have known from that time. And we, in this union, will not partner with the government to break the law. While we have some complaints from the um, flying community, we are apologetic for those uh, inconvenience costs. But those um, inconvenience were not um, due to the air traffic controllers in particular, but also to the powers that be yes. not turning sufficient attention to these issues in a more timely manner. We're calling on the minister just to try and make these matters as smoothly as possible, man. This is no need for this. This is just ridiculous. If you have this minister in place, what's to handle these issues? And it's not being done. That means what, he's ineffective? It means he needs to get rid of this minister. Now, whatever decision these unions make, it will be a collective one whether to withdraw their services or not. They're sure to let the Minister of Labor know that they are at the end of their rope. Janae Noel Ferguson, ZNS News.